Welcome to Module 4, Asthma Action Plan. In this module, you'll learn the importance of having an asthma action plan and how to use an asthma action plan. The asthma action plan is a tool to help you manage your asthma with greater confidence. It provides a step-by-step -step plan of action that will help you remain calm and give you direction when you or your child's asthma worsens. The asthma action plan can help keep your asthma in good control. The Asthma Action Plan helps you work with your health care provider in planning care for your asthma. Your health care provider should give you an Asthma Action Plan and review it with you at least once a year to make sure it's up to date. The Asthma Action Plan describes what regular medicines to use every day. It includes actions to take when asthma symptoms or peak flows worsen, including what medicines to take and when to contact the health care provider or seek emergency care. The Asthma Action Plan can be used when seeking emergency care to let the health care provider know how your asthma is usually treated. Here's an example of what an Asthma Action Plan looks like. Asthma Action Plans are available in many languages. Asthma Action Plans include a traffic light for the asthma zones. The green zone means you are doing well. The yellow zone is when asthma symptoms are getting worse. The red zone is a medical alert danger zone. The green zone is when you are doing well and your asthma is in control. There is no coughing, wheezing, chest tightness, or shortness of breath during the day or night. You can do all your usual activities. The yellow zone is when your asthma is getting worse. You may have coughing, chest tightness, wheezing, shortness of breath, or waking at night due to asthma symptoms. Or you can do some but not all of your usual activities because of asthma symptoms. The red zone is a medical alert. You may be very short of breath, or your quick relief medicines have not helped, or you cannot do your usual activities, or your symptoms are the same or get worse after 24 hours in the yellow zone. It's important to call 911 and get immediate medical help if you have trouble walking or talking due to shortness of breath, or if your lips or fingernails are gray or blue. For children, you should call 911 immediately if their skin is sucked in around the neck and ribs during breaths or the child does not respond normally. Here is an example of an asthma action plan from a provider. Notice the plan includes regular controller medicines and instructions, how to tell which zone you are in, asthma medicines and instructions for each zone, instructions for when to call 911. Now we're going to look at how to use your asthma action plan with an example. If Omar is coughing and his asthma symptoms are getting worse, what zone would he be in and what should he do? Number 1. Red zone. He should call his doctor or 911. Number 2. Green zone. He is still doing his usual activities. Number 3. Yellow zone. He should take four puffs of quick relief medication. Take a moment to review Omar's action plan and choose your answer. The answer would be number 3. If Omar is coughing and his asthma symptoms are getting worse, he is in the yellow zone. He would then need to look at what his provider wrote for him in the yellow zone of his asthma action plan. Although he should take his controller medicine no matter what zone he is in, he is also supposed to take four puffs of his quick relief medication. A peak flow meter is a small tool used to measure how fast you can blow out air. Peak flow is a measurement used to help understand which zone of the asthma action plan you are in. Here's how to calibrate a peak flow meter. The personal best peak flow meter is found by checking peak flow every day for 10 to 14 days, ideally midday or afternoon when lung function is typically at its best. There's usually an obvious best peak flow number when this is done. This is the personal best peak flow. 50% or less of the personal best is called the red zone, when you should get help right away. The zone between 75 and 50% of the personal best is the yellow zone, 
where additional inhaled quick-relief medicine is recommended by your provider. Above 75% is the green zone, where things are okay and you usually just take your controller medicine as prescribed. It's important to have an up-to-date action plan. It should be reviewed and updated at least once a year with a healthcare provider. The asthma action plan should be where it's easy to find so it can be used and referred to whenever you or your child has asthma symptoms. Refer to the action plan for what medicines to use every day and what actions to take when asthma symptoms worsen. If your child has asthma, make sure you both know how to use the asthma action plan. Give a copy of the plan to anyone who cares for you or your child and teach them how and when to use it. Consider keeping a peak flow and symptoms diary to share with your medical provider. Always take the asthma action plan and your medicines with you when you go to the clinic or the emergency room so that the provider will know what your primary care provider has recommended. Key points from this module are the Asthma Action Plan is a tool to manage asthma with confidence. Know how to use it and always look at it when symptoms occur. Review the plan once a year with your provider. Give copies to all caregivers and teach them how to use it. Take your Asthma Action Plan and Asthma Medicines to the emergency room.